Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn about the capacitors. So you may have already learned about this topic or you may have already heard about the capacitors and capacitors, they can store charges very quickly and whenever it is required, they can deliver charges also quickly. So in case of capacitors, there are two parallel plates, something like this. And that's it. This is the capacitor. And if you want to modify the capacitor uh, to increase its capacity, uh, then you can insert the dielectric medium, but we will discuss that later. So two parallel plates kept nearby each other, if they are connected with a power supply, they will be able to store some charge. It means these two parallel plates they have capacity to store the charge. If this is positive plate and this is negative plate of the battery or the power supply, then this plate of the capacitor will be positively charged and this plate of the capacitor would be negatively charged. Now when these two plates are positively and negatively charged, then there will be a strong electric field between the plates. The direction of electric field would be from positive plate to negative plate. The capacitance of the capacitor, it means how much charge it can store per unit of the voltage is given by the formula C is equal to Q by V. And this capacitance, capacitance is defined as the charge per unit of the voltage. Now, this formula here, it depends on the voltage and how much charge is stored on the plates. But there is another formula which depends on the physical properties of the capacitor. Let me take my marker. So I can write the other formula for the capacitor. C is equal to epsilon naught A by D. Now what is A here and what is D here? So A is the area of these plates. So imagine this is the area of the plate on which charge is stored. Usually the area of the two plates are equal. So if the area of the plate which is at the left right side is A, then the area of this plate would also be equal to A. So A is the area of the plates. And D is distance between the two plates. Distance of the separation between the two plates. So D is this distance, D. So now you can say the capacitance is given by C is equal to epsilon naught A by D and epsilon naught is permittivity of free space. Now when these two plates, they are storing charges, it means they are storing energy as well. So the energy stored on the plates of capacitors is given by a formula, energy 
is equal to 1 by 2 C V square. Here C is this capacitance and V is the voltage of this battery or the power supply. Now this formula can be modified depending on the type of question which is asked. So if we want to write this formula in terms of charges and the voltage we can write that uh, by using this formula. So since we know C is equal to Q by V in place of C we can substitute Q by V. So if I substitute Q by V here 1 by 2 as it is and V square then we know V and V square will get cancelled we only left will be V so we will get energy energy or stored on the capacitor E is equal to 1 by 2 Q into V 1 by 2 Q into V and you can write another formula for the energy stored on the plates of the capacitor. Since we know Q is equal, uh, C is equal to Q by V, we can write here Q is equal to Q is equal to CV, or we can write V is equal to Q by C. V is equal to Q by C. Now let's substitute this value of V which is equal to, uh, which is Q by C here in this formula and right here at the place of V. So what we will get from this formula E is equal to 1 by 2 C as it is and then Q by C square because V is square so Q by C gets a square so we can write here E is equal to 1 by 2 into C into Q square by C square now square in the denominator gets cancelled with this C so we get E is equal to 1 by 2 Q square by C. So what we can see here that the formula for the energy stored in the capacitor can be written in three different forms. And what are those three different forms? We can write them as energy E is equal to 1 by 2 C V square this one then energy E is equal to 1 by 2 1 by 2 Q square by C and the third one energy E is equal to 1 by 2 Q into V so these are the three formula which could be used for the uh, finding energy in the capacitor. The capacitor which we have right now only two parallel plates that is a weak capacitor. It cannot store a uh, large quantity of charge. To get more charge stored on the capacitor what we do is we insert some other type of materials between the plates and they are the dielectric materials dielectric materials so i will clean this board then we will discuss that dielectric material now in between the plates of the capacitor we will insert a dielectric material so dielectric materials are basically insulators whose molecules can be polarized in the presence of electric field. And there is electric field present between the plates of the capacitors. So, so there is 
there is electric field between the plates of the capacitors so the molecules of the dielectric materials they will be easily polarized so these are the two plates now in between these two plates let's say i'm keeping a dielectric material for example it can be paper or polythene or any other type of material so this is a dielectric material If you remember the last diagram where I had made a capacitor and this was a positive plate, this was negative plate, then the electric field between the plates was something like this. Because of the charges on these plates, the electric field which is set up by the pla uh, plates of the capacitors is still from positive plate to negative plate. But the molecules of dielectric material, they will align themselves opposite to the direction of electric field. So these molecules The molecules of the dielectric material, they will align themselves something like this. They will get stressed and the electrons, they will go towards the positive plate and the positive charges within the molecules, they will be attracted towards the negative plate. So the molecule of the dielectric material is stressed. So all the molecules, they will stretch something like this. And there will be electric field within the plates, which will point in opposite direction to the electric field by the plates of the capacitors. So what is the advantage of this? electric field which is in opposite direction there is actually advantage of this electric field and that advantage is because of these dielectric material the electric field which is generated that weakens the electric field of the plates when the electric field of the plates is weak then more and more charges from the power supply they will be able to come towards this positive plate and negative plate now when more charges will come on this positive uh, this positive and this negative plate it means there is more capacity on this capacitor to store the charges so what we did just now, we increased the capacitance of capacitor by inserting a dielectric medium between the plates. So if the dielectric constant of this dielectric medium is K, then the capacitance of the capacitor, which was written earlier without dielectric medium, something like this, c is equal to epsilon naught a by d now this modifies to c is equal to k epsilon naught a by d so what we see here is when we insert a dielectric medium of dielectric constant k the capacitance of capacitor increases by k times Let's say the original capacitance of the capacitor is C and new capacitance is C dash. So we can write C dash is equal to K times the original capacitance C. This dielectric constant K is written as K 
k is equal to epsilon by epsilon naught. So this is a unitless quantity because it's a ratio and here epsilon, this epsilon is called as permittivity of the medium, permittivity of the medium. And this dielectric constant K, because it's a ratio of permittivity of medium to the permittivity of free space, it's also called as relative permittivity of the mediums. So K is also called as relative permittivity of the medium. So that's it related to the capacitors. Keep revising and keep preparing for your exam.